today. Today we'll be showing you guys the, uh, the location this one on, the ground, on the ground two, Rachel's Nissan My favorite car in the world, hands down. Gotcha. Thing is amazing. And the look of it. Good that they bring back the design and the look. But I wish they had the body kit though. If they had the body kit. That that would completely make it even better. But it still looks amazing though. But uh right now we're gonna go ahead and drive it to the location. Before we do so, I'm gonna show you guys the location right now. It is on east of the middle of the, if you go zoom out and you go exactly in the middle of the map. About right here, you go east, exactly east, right here. On the on the map. So it's exactly in this location where I'm at. Um make sure you guys take a screenshot or whatever. I don't know. But you guys I will at least know exactly where it is. So right now we're gonna go ahead and drive it down to the location and let's see what happens. Uh, yes, this is gonna be my race building actually. Subject to setting westbound to Silver Rock. Uh, race building. Subject to Charlie Westbound to Silver Rock. Hopefully that was really quick, it's faster than all the banning cars are there. Except for the car. I think I'm slow, except for this one. I think the car is probably quicker or something. Yeah, it's somewhat of a good balance, and I actually like that. It's not where it's like the cops are completely unfair with this car. Yeah, this car will completely get obliterated if it's so much slower than this. So much slower, but um, I'm glad they bring back the car. It's a good thing to see it back because I miss this car. Really. The car is so iconic. Good to see back in the game or see the actual design back in the game. I'm talking about the car itself. The design and back. I'm seeing Rachel's car. In the game. Come on, man. And I hate that when that happens. Dude, <laughs> nah, get off me! Nah, leave me alone. I I cannot get on a straight without somebody either trying to tackle me out or something. Okay, it does not make one sense whatsoever. Right, that Tom Victoria's nitrous. And I'm stuck. I, I, I I'm stuck. Never mind. I managed to get out. Well done. Leave me alone. <laughs> Please, leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. I don't want you. I don't want you. Stop messing with me. Leave me alone. I don't like you guys. I don't like you guys. Let me fix the car damage real quick. So we could quickly take a quick screenshot. This is sick. This is a perfect scene right here. What would be perfect angle though? Like this angle? So we're gonna make, make it, uh, saturation increase, the contrast increase. I usually use cinematic for the uh, for the um, it kind of brightens out, and then, um, and then for uh, the focal point, we usually drop it all the way down, and then make the blur. What oh, is way too high? Hold up, it's kind of blind me right now. I think the contrast is really too high. 
Let's get let's get out of here first. Nah, that was a better shot, dude. That was a better shot. I should like that shot. We might have to go whip a U-turn real quick. Might have whip a U-turn, guys. Just for the screenshot. Just so we get him back in here. Perfect shot. The perfect shot. There you go. Bring back memories right there. That is perfect. Yo, that bleach look actually looks pretty clean. If I increase the saturation, that'll look even better. Yeah. Dude, that looks insane. Uh, there you go. That should look clean. Strength is fine. Uh, the blur is fine. I think we just got dropped on the focal point. And that's about it. And there you go. Actually, let me change something real quick. One more change the damage. You guys understand when it comes to making these thumbnails, it, it's very, it's all about beautifulness. It does not, it's not eye catchy. No one's gonna click on your video. I love being able to have an eye catchy. Thumbnail, and this looks amazing. A perfect shot. That is perfect. I, that's probably the best I, I've actually done personally. And there you go. I mean, see, you see the car drifting. <laughs> that's that's the coolest part. That's, that is the coolest part. You see the car drift. And then a thumbnail just looks amazing. Uh, you guys definitely will get thumbnail is complete. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything inside the um, cause I use I made my thumbnails on my phone. If you guys don't know, you see all my videos are insane. To make thumbnails on your phone that good, pretty insane. Not a lot of people on my level. I could make thumbnails better than people actually make like very good thumbnails on their own computer. So, which is kind of sad. And, uh, that you could do anything. So I mean, at this point, this car is just insane. I love this car. Um, I just love the 350Z. I miss Underground too. I wish they make a Underground 3 or something. As that was supposed to be the plan. I'm saying I'm always thinking, oh, this be the end of Underground 3. This and that, but Underground 3, where is it? It's nowhere. And it's like okay, well. You see Underground 3, so that's what the, pretty much the favorite brain is like. Okay, yeah. The Underground 3. So, hopefully we see Underground 3. It tailors off Underground 2 and continue on the story in a certain way. Um, other than that, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys really do enjoy this thing. is insane. I love this car. We are going to be building this thing. We're going to actually build this. I wish you could put a Rocket Bunny kit on it to make it even look better, but... Uh, I'll be dropping a cinematic on it uh, soon. So I hope you guys really do enjoy. Uh, drop a like. And subscribe if you're new. Underground 2. This is on 350Z. Rachel's car is amazing. Talk to you guys later. And peace out.